this is my workout sheet for the section D on the lab for uh, experiment 11. Uh, it's just some of the preliminaries to get them out of the way real quick. Uh, these are the known table, uh, the known concentrations, molarity for uh, hydrochloric acid and sodium oxide, which we got from table one and two. That may be backwards. Uh, all right, so let's get started with this. Let's see if I can post this video today. Uh, so the first question was uh, write a balance equations, which uh, you guys should know how to do. Uh, real quick, it's just calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid gives you calcium chloride plus H2O plus CO2. That's fast, quick. Uh, that's question number one. For number two, it says calculate the volume, the volume use of uh, or the volume added for NaOH, and that should be graphed from your table, from your data table. Uh, and for me, it was 25.13 uh, milliliters, which is equals to 0 0.02513 liters. Uh, and that will help you to solve the next question, which is uh, calculate the moles of sodium oxide used. And that's easy since you already have the liters. Uh, so number three here is 0 0.02513 liters times uh, from your table 0 0.081896 moles per per liter. Cancel those liters out. We get our calculator here. Punch some numbers. 0 0.03 And I will give you your moles of NaOH use, which for me is 0, 0, 002058, and I will leave it at that, moles of NaOH. Question number four. This is calculate the moles of HC, HCl uh, in 10 milliliter sample, in a 10 milliliter sample. Uh, one thing you gotta know about this figure right here is that that was the amount of uh, that amount of NaOH was, uh, that was 10 milliliters, 10 milliliters to neutralize this amount of moles. So if you know this figure, then you should know that uh, the ratio of moles from uh, hydrochloric acid to NaOH is one to one. So just the same, let's keep those numbers, uh, moles of NaOH, one to one mole of hydrochloric acid, and it's going to be the same figure. Sorry, I'm losing focus. 0 0.002, what's that? 0.025058 moles of HCl. Uh, the next question here is question number five. Uh, calculate the moles of HCl in the beaker after neutralization. Uh, well, that's simple because you have the before from your table, the moles before neutralization, uh, which is 0 0.3089. And you want to divide it by 10. So it's going to be 0 0.03089 for me. And this moles, but remember that that figure is in 10 milliliters. So you want to multiply that by 10 milliliters. So you want to multiply that by 100. And that is uh, 0 0.002058 over 10 milliliters times 100 milliliters, which should be 0 0.02058 milliliters. So we have those figures, and now just subtract 0 0.0 minus 0 0.02058 milliliters, which that math is too complicated for my head at this time of the day. Two zero five eight, 
and that looks all right. 0 0.01031, and that is moles of HCl. My loosen. Uh, so next question here is six. Let's see if I can solve it real quick. Calculate the moles of HCl in the beaker before. Okay, we already did that. Calculate the moles of consumed. Uh, we did that. And the amount. After neutralization. So we have all three. Uh, okay, so the next one is, I guess it's question number eight. Scratch it out. Question number eight, which is uh, calculate the moles of calcium carbonate in the tablet. I think I skipped one. Nope, that's correct. Okay, so we have the amount of moles of hydrochloric acid here. So we're going to use that figure again. Zero, one, zero, three, one. Moles of hydrochloric acid times, uh, let's do mole to mole, two moles of hydrochloric acid to one mole of calcium carbonate. And that should give us 0 0.005155. Those numbers should look really good because uh, if you notice here, Five one five five. Those are moles. And fine, let me write this down real quick. And uh, five five moles of calcium carbonate times the molarity of uh, calcium carbonate, which is one hundred point zero eight nine. And it should come out to roughly one hundred and five. That should come out to roughly one point five one. XX. I'll just just to finish this video real quick, uh, X, and and those are grams of calcium carbonate. Uh, and so so you got those figures, and let's just let's just say this uh, for the sake of the video is five one two five minus uh, the point five zero point five grams of the given divided by 0 0.5, 0 0.5125 minus 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 times 100, let's write that down, times 100. And for me, it came close to, close to 3 percent which is 2.5 for this example, 2.5% uh, deviation. All right, hopefully you guys could handle this. And if you find a problem with uh, this uh, calculation, just uh, send me a text or call me. All right. Thanks.